Hi, here at Gannon's Antiques and Art in Fort Myers, Florida, we're always looking for great Asian antiques. Today I want to show you something we just got in. It came from a local resident, right. and it's a pair of right. matched cinnabar lacquer vases made in China. These are, if you don't know anything about lacquer, it comes from the lac tree, and what they do is they build up layer after layer after layer of lacquer, and each layer you have to dry it first before you can start the next layer. So it's super, super intensive, it takes a long time. It could take years for okay, some of them good. to be made. If it's good. a great big piece or something to that effect. Okay. Um, it, it takes a, a high level of skill. After it's all dried, then they start the carving process. In this you'll see that there are three layers of carving. There's the wood down at the very base, then there's the black layer, which kind of gives the background, and then there's the red layer, which is the foreground. So, so you really get that feeling of dimensionality. Now, if they make a mistake on these, then they have to refill in. So, so they would use the best artists to do these. As far as these particular vases, what's nice about these is they have the garlic bulb top. You you won't see this top very often, and then there's a ring going around it, but but uh, I challenge you to go look at, at uh, Chinese vases and you'll very rarely see this garlic bulb top. Oh, yeah. And the other oh, nice yeah. thing about this is both of them come with their own stand. Again, I've seen a lot of these, but I've never seen them with their matching stand. And these in particular have six paneled landscape scenes and they're all figural. So there's figures, there's landscapes, there okay. are uh, little buildings, like Dakota type buildings. These, these have everything. These are really nice. We're really pleased to have them. Um, there's a mark on the bottom saying China. In 1890 there was an act stating that anything that was being exported to the United States had to have the word China on it. And then in 1914, the McKinley okay. Act said you have to put the made in and then the country of origin, so made in China. So we know that these would be between 1890, when you had to put the name of the country in, and before 1914. So this would be right at the end of the Qing Dynasty. And uh, the lady who brought them in said that they were passed down to her. They had been a family member's and then she acquired it, and that that family member had lived in China, so everything falls right into place. These are really gorgeous. If you have antique Chinese items that you want to sell, we're always looking to buy. And if you'd like to see some other items we have, you can go to our website, gannonsantiques.com, or you can subscribe on this page to our YouTube channel, and then you can see the things that we get as we get them in.